This question is about instant conditioner. Can you tell me why after putting a gallon of conditioner in my 10,000 gallon above ground pool, I still don't have chlorine in my pool? I put in a two pound bag last night along with the conditioner. We don't know what was in the two pound bag. I guess that would be, that would be the, the question is, what kind of chlorine did you use? What was its concentrate? Was it a Cal Hypo? Was it a, a lithium-based chlorine? I mean, there's a lot of different possible bags of shock out there. Uh, regardless of whether you had a conditioner or a stabilizer in the water, if you added chlorine, you should be able to get a reading of chlorine. If you're not getting a reading of chlorine, something else is going on. There's, there's a, a chlorine bond going on that's not allowing the available chlorine to register as available chlorine. Uh, what the conditioner does, or that, that instant conditioner, it's a stabilizer, cyanuric acid. What that does is it almost creates like a shield over the pool, like a bubble that protects it from the sun to keep the chlorine from getting away so quickly. And if you put chlorine in the pool, but you show no chlorine whatsoever, something's robbing that chlorine it could be the chlorine itself is a problem, but it could be another water condition in the water. Uh, and likely it's a combination of both. It could also be bad testering, test reading. You may have, if you're doing a dip test, uh, you might have a bad set of reagent uh, on dip strips or expired. Flip those over if you have strips and look at the ex expiration date. Uh, and it doesn't mean because you just bought them from a pool store, it doesn't mean that they're not expired because they could easily be last year's stock that just hadn't gotten it switched out and no one saw a date. Or if you're using the old style uh, where you're squeezing in there, those reagents could have gone bad. They don't last forever. Again, we're in the spring, so I could make some assumptions whether right or not wrong that these could be last year's chemicals that you're using this year, and that potentially could be a problem as well. But regardless of conditioner in the pool or putting stabilizer in the pool, if you add chlorine, in a short order of time, you should be able to get a reading. Over a long term, that chlorine will go down more rapid because it's not being held in the water with the conditioner. But in the short term, you should be able to get a chemical reading. If not, there's some other factor that we're not thinking about yet.